This is Cytoscape 371, and I'm going to demonstrate layouts and the node layout tool. I've already opened the yeast perturbation sample network and switched the style to a consistent node fill just to make the nodes easier to see. All right, the layout menu at the top will show you all the default layouts that are available in Cytoscape, in addition to layouts that come from apps that are installed and a special case for the Y files app, which requires you to, upon first installation, agree to a license, and then you'll see the Y files layouts in addition. Um, just to demonstrate a few of these, um, in this top section are the most basic layouts. Circular layout is perhaps interesting. It tries to find the most interconnected group and for, to form the first ring in the circle layout, and then there's a second layer of nodes connected to those, etc. Et as you zoom out. There's also, under the layout menu, a attribute circle layout. And here, for example, you can choose any of the attributes you have loaded. A degree is a common choice, and it will lay out all of the connected nodes in a single, a single uh, cir circular layout. And in this case, they're ordered by degree, starting in the six o'clock position and going clockwise from largest to smallest degree. Again, under the layout menu, there is the perfuse force directed layout. This is a common choice. And it gives you the original layout provided with the sample network, for example. And I'll show one of the Y files organic layouts. That one's popular. And it does a nice job of a force directed layout with some additional spacing cues added in. And the final example of layouts will be an edge weighted spring embedded layout. That one gives you something like this. So slight differences in those last three that are all spring based force directed layouts uh, that you can play with. Now, the final thing I wanna demonstrate is the node layout tools. So if we zoom in to a particular area, you'll see that sometimes there's overlapping in the nodes. And the node layout tool is a handy way to fix that without having to manually move each node and fix it. So again, under layouts, at the top, node layout tools. That'll open this extra panel here in the lower left. And if I have nothing selected, I can um, use this uh, scaling feature to dramatically expand or condense the layout as is. And then if you zoom into an area, maybe the layout's pretty good except for just in one area. You can highlight a few nodes, and as long as selected only is checked, you can expand and condense just those nodes, again, without having to manually bias where things are laid out. So my space is out like that. Um, there's all the align, distribute, and stack options that you'd expect to see whenever you have one or more nodes selected. And then if I zoom out again, another nice feature is rotation. Um, this will let you rotate the entire layout, um, but very importantly, no matter how you rotate, you'll notice the labels are staying horizontal uh, to maintain legibility. Um, so that's a nice way to fit um, um, a network into a portrait or layout format, depending on what you're looking for.